With relegation for Dimitri Oscar Motsis and Schalke looking more likely in a place for Marco Horses. Glad back in the following season's European competitions, slowly ebbing away. Schalke's mascot Erwin knew before kickoff this was a must win game for both sides. With just one win in the last 10 games in all competitions and in an attempt to banish their exit from the Champions League just days previously, Gladbach got off to a great start. Captain Lars Stindl carefully placing his shot to give the Foles the lead with his 11th goal of the campaign after Marcus Thuram cleverly kept the ball in. The home defence failing to clear the ball did Dimitrios Gromotsis' side no favours. The visitors ran the show against a side who were themselves without a win in 10 games. And with just over half an hour gone, Alassane Player really should have extended Gladbach's lead after a Stefan Leiner cross. Schalke improved in the final quarter of an hour of the first half. And five minutes before the break, Kerim Chalanolu stung the palms of Jan Zoma in the Gladbach goal. To remind the visitors that their lead was a fragile one. Marcus Thuram's tremendous presence down the left-hand side had the Schalke defence and mascot deservedly nervous in the first 45 minutes. Schalke continued to be pushed back in the second period and three minutes past the hour, the side who were the best in the league from set pieces showed just how they got that reputation and the side with the worst record from set pieces did likewise. Stefan Leiner's textbook header from a Jonas Hoffmann corner deservedly doubled Gladbach's lead. Just under 10 minutes later, Schalke conceded again. This time, it was an own goal, the second in as many games. Frederik Ronor was unable to control his save of a Nico Elvedi header, and Schalke were three down. Gladbach ran out worthy winners in the end. Schalke failed to score for a negative club record, fifth home game in a row.